here we go. So last week, if you missed it, Todd prepared and left on his first extended sailing experience, three weeks from Hawaii to Alaska. They had wet beds, rolling seas, and caught a big fish. Pretty calm day today. I think we're, I don't remember what we are, day seven, day eight, day seven, day six. I kind of remember. It's a little calm. Um, decided to go ahead and make some water. So we got the generator out. Two. Make some water. The only way we can make water is to be on a slight port tack so that the pump has an easier time pumping the water in the inlet. So we decided to go ahead and just take a couple break, a couple hour break. We're gonna heave two and sit right here and make some water. Here we go. Have you learned about heaving two? I want to know all about heaving too. That's where you, like back way in the jib, right? Well, you can do it with any sail. Basically, you're trying to balance the boat. The key is that the rudder is hard into the wind. So, try to, right now the rudder is hard to starboard, right? And the jib. Or you can just use the prow of the boat if you have a big prow like this right. boat. So just wants to, to push the, push the front boat that way. And the rudder is trying to turn the boat that way. Right. And so it'll kind of go, it'll just kind of feather back and forth. And uh, you can adjust the main to adjust how the boat angles and how much it draws back and forth. Right. Uh, so right now I'm kind of trying to get it pointed as close to the wind as I can so that we're not going downwind very fast. Right. The boat we're making almost three knots downwind, which is... A we don't want to do that. We just spent two hours coming up with So right now I think we're doing like one knot. A lot better. Is it good? Pork roast for dinner. Nate's the chef. Eat. We've been having problems with the diesel running for an hour and then shutting down on us, so we're trying to figure out what's going on. Black crap. Now, how many sailboat owners would like an engine room like this? <laughs> yeah, you could sleep six <laughs> people down here. That's our problem. I'm going to confirm that that's our problem. That's our story, oh, and we're sticking to it. Well, you know, it wasn't filling his bowl up for one. Mm -hmm. You know, all that stuff in there shouldn't have been in there. Right. Do we need to? So it's almost like you need a pre-filter. Yeah, for I this think filter. I'd bleed that a little bit. Huh? Yes, yeah, but I told uh, this guy Norm. I said, "Well, we haven't dismantled the, the Raycor yet, but that was next on our list. It didn't look dirty, but all right, it wasn't the dirty part in it. It was the correct dirt was in that check valve." How many guys does it take to clean a Raycor? Dinner blue marlin, rice, and veggies. Hey, blue marlin, here we come. Blue marlin. Excellent, excellent. excellent. Starting of day nine. Upgraded my clothing a little bit. Got 
long pants on. And added some socks. 67 degrees or so on the inside. So on the outside, it's probably at least 10 degrees colder. 57 maybe. Maybe 60. Not much wind right now. 5.5 wind, but we're going 6.7, so there's like no, none, not a wind at all. But in a couple days, it's going to be pretty, pretty fun. We got a bowl and chocolate and walnuts and vanilla out. You're not thinking of doing what I'm thinking, are you? What are you thinking? Brownies? I got the oven on, might as well. Too bad I had two of his flax seed berry chocolate pancakes that were the size of the dinner plate and I'm stuffed. We got bread in the oven right now. That's right, pancakes were it. And we're making water. And we're gonna change oil on the motor when it cools down. And we're flying the spinnaker. Huh? <laughs> Want me to hold it? Or try to hold it. Probably just has to keep going until it's primed. So, option two. YouTube star. Look at that. First time making bread on a boat. Yeah, I had, had extra yeast because it didn't seem like it was going to take off, but it really did. We got brownies in the oven. Brownies in the oven. Cooking tips with Nate. <laughs> Cook when you can. Cook when you can. Cook when the boat's not rocking. Everything's harder at sea. You got swell, you got bumps and waves and rolls. The change in the oil at sea is one thing you got to learn to do. It's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> and you got the short straw, right? Well, it is my engine. You got the, it's your engine. <laughs> I'm going to so pay for it if you, it breaks. <laughs> if it breaks, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's it. That's the uh, super full. So this is what like six and eight foot waves looks like. I don't know if you can tell or not, but... Talk about AIS for a minute. Um, a lot of boats have AIS receivers on them. Um, this boat transmits and receives. On the horizon, the ship out there, and AIS, the triangle of him moving around, the dot in the middle is us. And he is going to pass us within 1.5 nautical miles. It's kind of nice to have that. We've been watching him for a little over an hour now. And he's gonna pass behind us. But that guy actually uh, altered his course because we were supposed to only be half a nautical mile away. He changed his course quite early on. And we're actually crossing the shipping lane right now. So they've been kind of zipping through here throughout the night um, quite frequently. You need a bit of a bracer, just go outside for a couple minutes. Too cold? Take a life jacket. <laughs>
Not that I don't trust you guys to come back and get it. Yeah, me. probably Didn't should. have a chance. Should have that. Three times, so only three times. Very good at it. Yep. I don't know why these pumps quit working, but then they'll start working again. Okay, we should have water at the end. Let me go check. Nope. Huh? Let me see if it's coming. Is it pumping? No. Water is. There it goes. All right. Be good now. Not to get me too wet. Hey everybody! Thought I'd do just a quick video. Um, we're out on the water here. It's like 55 degrees. And we got little GoPro sticking up everywhere. <laughs> so, like 55 degrees outside. It's warm weather up here on. And this is what it's like sailing outside in Alaska. We didn't have this nice warm pilot house though. <laughs> Be a lot harder to deal with, but so we actually lost our wind vane the other day, hydro vane. See it on the floor here. I'll walk back and show you the panel that broke off there. At 5 a.m., Rusty heard a bang in the dark. At that point, he yelled for all hands on deck. So it kind of broke off right there. Well, right there, broke off. Down there. We flew out of bed and found him hanging on to the hydrovane, which was suspended on the lifelines. It took all of us to pull it onto the deck. We've got right now, the swells aren't as bad as they were earlier. They are probably six foot or so swells. Still got to hang on like crazy though. Got my nice uh, Alaska jacket on, my fleece pants, and I've got some wool socks with my sandals. Another thing to be careful is make sure your jack line doesn't wrap around your foot like this. So here we are, Rusty's inside. Sails up. I think we're blowing, uh, I think we're blowing right now probably 16 knots of wind, roughly. <coughs> We've had gusts up to 30 plus knots. Kind of, uh, Kind of made it havoc for us, but other than that, everything's good. Wow, <laughs> it's kind of cold out there. 49 degrees from what it says. Didn't lose the GoPro though, that's a good sign. So, yeah. So, in case uh, any of you have ever seen before, this is how a jack line setup works. So we got the life vest or harness, whatever you would have. And it's got a couple buckles on here. Big, big heavy duty D rings. And all you got to do is run this through the D rings and then run this through this loop like that. Pull it tight, it just makes a big like slip knot right there. And then we can clip this onto our jack line as we go outside. And uh, yeah, that's that's how the safety vest and jack line works.
now we got about 20 knots of wind blowing. Might have a bit of a squall about to come in. Like you're in Alaska, buddy. <laughs> Ow! That hurts. We're close to Alaska, yeah. aren't we? Closer to Alaska than anything else. Still international stuff, but. 500 miles to Alaska. 500 miles. Yeah, shut that door. I gotta undo my jack line here. I'm watching it. And there we go. If you've been enjoying watching Todd learn how to live at sea, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode where they learn how to use a sextant and finally run into that storm that they've been watching. Okay, tips on using the head. And after 19 long days at sea, they finally spot land. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you'd like more content, be sure you pop over to our Patreon page where we share a weekly captain's log, a monthly Patreon-only video, and you'll hear all the exciting news first over there.